welcome back to my channel. My name is Denise Foley and I am the artist and business owner of The Pretty Pink Studio. If you haven't subscribed already to my channel, I suggest that you do that now because I hope the information that I share with you will help you become a professional illustrator. I decided to start making videos because I wanted to find another creative alternative to sharing my artwork with others, but also because I found a lot of information and inspiration while trying to become a professional illustrator myself. I found many DIYs and how-to videos on YouTube and I found them incredibly useful and I'm hoping that my channel, my videos will help encourage you and teach you a few lessons that I've learned over the last couple of years. Although I'm still currently learning a lot and there's tons more that I need to learn, but I'm hoping that as I start to develop those skills, I'll be able to share them with all of you. So just like the title of this video says, today I'm going to show you how I packaged my art prints and my greeting cards. Surprisingly, this was something that I struggled with when I first decided to start selling my artwork online. I just couldn't find the, the best companies. I found a lot of American companies, but I wasn't able to find a lot of Canadian companies, more so because I didn't know where to start. So I am hoping that this video will help you um, start packaging your materials properly so that they get to your customer safely. know I am Canadian so most of the websites I'm going to be mentioning are Canadian websites and companies. I'm almost positive that some of the companies I'll be mentioning are available in the States. I'm not entirely sure about other countries but even having a look at these websites will probably give you an idea of what the the, item, the shipping items are called and so you can definitely do a Google search and see if it's available um, at a company in your, your area. So my top three websites to shop for uh, shipping supplies would be Staples, Uline, and Clearbox Canada. From my experience and research, they did have the best prices, and even when you compare the three companies, you'll find uh, different price ranges between the three, but I've tested all three of those companies' products, and I'm pretty satisfied with all of them, There is a, but there is a select few um, materials from all three of them that I prefer more than the other. So um, one si uh, shipping supply I'm going to be showing you today uh, may have been bought from Uline or Staples, etc. And let's get started. So before you begin, just make sure that you're measuring whatever it is that you're shipping because you wanna make sure that it fits. It would be absolutely terrible to receive a shipment of shipping supplies and none of your greeting cards or, or prints fit. So definitely measure before purchasing and if you have any questions, reach out to these companies because I'm sure the customer service will be more than willing to help you out. So when I package my greeting cards, I have these clear cellophane packages right here and a flat mailer. and ship my art prints is very similar to the way that I do it for my greeting cards. They're all inserted into a clear cellophane bag. However, the difference is I'm going to include a backboard. This is for the 8x10 print. I do have smaller ones for the 5x7 print. The reason being is because you want to make sure that your flat mailer doesn't get bent. Although this is fairly strong, this will help reduce the possibility of it being placed into a mailbox and either getting super bent and then your art prints will just not be able to be framed because it might have a terrible crease right down the middle. And just a reminder, just not to make the mistake that I had done, before you package your art prints, make sure you sign it. shipping label on 
online, maybe on Etsy, Shopify, or directly on the Postal Service website. Just make sure that you're weighing and measuring properly because you don't want to underpay or overpay and maybe not have your package be delivered to your customer and get returned to you. That is a terrible situation. <laughs> If you have any questions about shipping or maybe anything else really, please feel free to leave your questions in the comment box below. I do wanna take the time to thank all of you for continuing to follow along on this journey of mine as an illustrator. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and if you liked the video, please give it a like. I would be oh so grateful. Again, thank you so much and we'll see you next time. Bye.